What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And my channel is a mental health channel. I'm here to help you with your mental and emotional well-being. So if that's something that you're into, please feel free to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bells because I make a ton of videos to help you out. But we're back here today to talk about Logan Paul. I know, I know, I know, everybody's talking about Logan Paul, I get it. But this this topic keeps coming up and it's like, it's bugging me. Um, what are Logan Paul's motives? I see it all over the place. Everybody is questioning his motives. Like, I made my video yesterday and I've been watching, I follow a lot of different YouTube commentators and stuff, um, just for my own research, see what's happening in the community, what other people think. And, you know, one, one thing is, is just, you know, just YouTube commentators in general, like, they're, they're humans, they're humans. We love drama, we love to hate people. That's what we do, we hate forgiving people, we love to hold grudges, like, ooh, it just fuels our soul to hold a good grudge against somebody. And just so many commentators out there are talking about how, you know, what are his motives? What are his motives? What are his motives? Like, I happened to stumble across this new YouTube commentator. He's actually pretty good, but, um, when he did his Logan Paul video, I was kind of like, eh, I don't know. But anyways, his name is Quite. Uh, if you're into this stuff, check him out. But anyways, here's a clip from him. But my point still stands. And I'm going to keep repeating this till we get to the end of the video because I consistently keep thinking about it as I keep going through this video. I just can't help but question Logan's motives. I want to believe he's changed so bad. I okay, next. Then we have uh, another one. I just, sometimes I look in my suggested tab and this guy popped up. I've never seen him before. Uh, his name is Jack Mate. Logan, really, this is gonna do wonders for your public image, man. In fact, can we get a shot of Logan looking rather forlorn? Do you know what I mean? Looking sad, Logan. And if you can include a, like a gulp to show that you really understand the gravity of the issue now, that'd be perfect, perfect PR. Keep going. Okay, so, so these are just two clips, but there are, hundreds if not thousands of videos on YouTube right now of people questioning Logan Paul's motives. So what I'm here to do as a mental health channel, I do a lot of videos on um, psychology as well as mental health, as well as the way our brains work. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about evolutionary psychology in this video because I'm, whenever I make a video, I'm trying to explain to you all how your brain works. When you understand how your brain works, you could start making better choices with what you do rather than being on this autopilot and pretty much, mm, you know, to be honest, fueling more hatred in our world. And real quick, if you're still with me and you haven't like freaked out about me yet, like, no, I'm not like a Logan Paul fanboy or part of the low gang um, or whatever, but like I'm, I, I have this crazy idea of the world becoming a better place, so. I make videos like this. But anyways, so let's talk about it. What are Logan Paul's motives? What are his motives? Like quite said, he talks about questioning his motives over and over and over again. You will see it in just about other one. And to put it very bluntly, who cares? Who cares? Who cares what his motives are? So what you're looking at right now is a screenshot of how many views Logan Paul's videos got. Logan Paul's video has 14 million views in 24 hours. 14 million. 14 million people saw a video bringing awareness to mental illness, to suicide, to what you have to do to get help. 14 million people saw this, and the most that people are talking about are what are this guy's motives? Like, that is one of the biggest problems in society today, is even when somebody's trying to, you know, uh, or even when something good happens, we immediately have this negative bias where we immediately look towards the bad. That's just one of the ways our brain works. Now, it I question this a lot, and there's actually some scientific re reasons behind this. Why do people always wanna know what the motive is? Why are people always questioning motives? Well, evolutionary psychology does explain this. So evolution, evolutionary psychology is a branch of psychology where they explain 
how our, our modern brains work based on things that our brains had to do back in prehistoric days. So in this aspect, asking ourselves, why do people care what somebody else's motives are? And the reason being is, let me paint the picture for you. Back in the hunter-gatherer days when you had different tribes and things like that, it was important for you to look a certain way and to put off a certain kind of persona to everybody. So let's say for example, dude over in the tribe next to you, he pulls a fast one over on you. He tricks you, right? You don't know what his motives are, but you give him the benefit of the doubt. Well, if that guy pulled a fast one on you, who knows what the people in your tribe are gonna say or the people in the next tribe are gonna say. The other tribe might start thinking that you're weak or you're dumb and they might come and attack you and take over your tribe. Or it leaves you vulnerable for more people in your tribe to take advantage of you too. So based on that, the way our brain has evolved, it still holds on to that. We're always questioning people's motives because of this very primitive instinct that we have. But fast forward to 2018, Logan Paul is not going to destroy you or your tribe based on his motives, but so many people don't understand how their brain works that they go in autopilot and they're like, I need to make a YouTube video questioning Logan Paul's motives. Like, if we really take a step back, if we take a step back and we say, how does this affect me? How does this affect me personally? Like, the question nobody's asking, the question nobody's going a little bit deeper, just a little bit deeper after asking what are Logan Paul's motives, the question after that is, why does it matter? Why does it matter? Why does it matter what his motives are for this video? Because I mentioned in my last video about Logan Paul's apology, like only time's gonna tell. I mentioned it in the video I did, my reaction video, like we don't know. Like we, we have to see if he changes, if he becomes a better person. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, currently on January 25th, 2018, 14 million people have seen that video. 14 million people, people who struggle with depression, people who struggle with suicidal thoughts, which is a, a minority, a minority of the people who watched that saw this and were able to get some kind of help or some, some kind of resources. But the majority of people out there, the majority of 14 million people were able to learn a little bit more about the struggle of what people with suicidal thoughts go through, what people with any form of mental illness go through. And in my, in my realm of being a mental health advocate, that's a win, that's a win. So when people are like making fun of the piano music and you know, Logan Paul's just doing this for a PR stunt, like I choose to look at the benefit and the potential lives this saved no matter what. Logan Paul might go off next week and do some more outrageous stuff and be a complete idiot like around the world. But at the end of the day, 14 million people so far, this number's still probably gonna grow, 14 million people so far either got help or learned practical ways to help somebody else. For me, that is definitely a win, all right? So anyways, that was, that was eating me up and I had to make this video. If you like this video, if you agree with me, give it a thumbs up and do me a favor, share this video with some other people too because we need to start asking ourselves why we're questioning so many people's motives, okay? We're not cavemen anymore, all right? So it's important to kind of uh, understand that, all right? So again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And again, if you are new here, make sure you click the little round subscribe button right below this little box. I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. And we just hit 1,000 subscribers. So don't you wanna join? Don't you wanna join up with us? But anyways, click or tap on one of those thumbnails, check out some other videos. I love you, and I'll see you next time.